today I basically want to do a PSA that um, a lot of bunny lovers will probably hear about but unfortunately um, a lot of people don't know and it causes many many issues for domestic rabbits and that's what I'm going to be talking about today. Don't get a bunny for Easter, please. Now I know most of you are thinking, I'm a good person, I would never get a pet as a seasonal novelty. I wouldn't get a pet just because it fits the theme of the season that happens once a year and then get rid of it or get bored of it after the season is quickly over. You think that, right? And you think other people would be decent enough to think that way as well, right? No. Um, in the UK alone, over 60,000 rabbits are rescued after being abandoned and neglected every single year and that's just the UK. It happens in kind of the hundreds of thousands in places like America. A huge part of the reason is that these animals kind of do just get bought because it's Easter. Every time when spring comes around, people get to see tons of bunny merchandise everywhere, bunnies in commercials, adorable bunnies, bunnies being sold at fairs, bunnies being put on the front display in pet stores. I know, Easter's coming, why don't we get a bunny? Yeah, that's definitely going to be a good idea, getting a rabbit purely for novelty's sake. One of the biggest issues that happens with rabbits is people get them thinking they're easy pets or beginner pets. A lot of uh, people get rabbits for their children to learn about how to keep a pet or think they're kind of, you know, like to be handled and uh, have short lives or, you know, generally disposable, which is a terrible concept in itself. No pet is disposable, no matter how small. This is the thing that happens with smaller pets. I think I feel like the value goes down the smaller they get. And rabbits, it's similar. Even though they're not the smallest of pets, um, they're heavily considered disposable and are the third most abandoned animal in the world after dogs and cats. Sometimes this is because people consider them dumb and unemotional animals uh, just because their face expressions aren't particularly anthropomorphic. So you can't. it's not easy to tell when they're happy, sad or angry. And um, that way they're kind of devalued as creatures on, um, you know, uh, how they classify as how they should be treated. Although intelligence and that kind of thing should never uh, change how you treat a living creature, um, I would like to let you know that rabbits have the same intelligence and the same emotional capacity as dogs, which is kind of kind of weird to think when you see their little faces, it's kind of hard to read, but they, um, they are incredibly moody animals for one thing, right? And uh, very needy and high maintenance. Hello. Rabbits are the opposite of low maintenance pets. They should never be given as starter pets, especially to children. Um, they really don't like being handled, it's a myth. You might see pictures of people holding bunnies and you know, oh it's so cute. They generally don't like being held. The ones that are being held are generally tolerating it, but they're not enjoying it. They're not cuddly pets at all um, and this is a misconception so people go and get these rabbits thinking they're going to be cuddly things that you can just hold you know enjoy the fluffiness and they're going to get pissy they're going to really really uh, dislike being touched and handled especially by kids where they don't really know how to do it properly um, it can also cause injury to them by the way if they're not being held properly because they will panic because like i said it's a scary thing for them to be handled because they are prey animals so because this isn't what they were wanting out of a pet, because obviously they hadn't done any research or minimal research, um, they get rid of their rabbit because it's not what they were looking for in a pet. They wanted a cuddly, stuffed plushie, basically. Why didn't you just get one of those? And what I was saying about why they're high maintenance pets is um, they need a constant supply of hay. You can never not have hay in the house. They need to constantly be eating hay. Yes, they are mammals like us, but their internal system is very different, somewhat alien to ours. And basically, if their stomachs are not constantly moving, uh, their bodies can start shutting down and they can die in less than 24 hours. And they are really, really fragile animals, especially in terms of their diet. There we go, we got a bunny back, yay! <laughs> also, bunny's teeth are constantly growing and they never stop growing. You need to have give them a constant supply of wooden, or cardboard or you know any kind of chew toy that they can keep chewing because they have an instinct to chew. This is another reason they get abandoned is um, you know someone keeps a rabbit as a house rabbit and they start chewing things and like oh this pet's a disaster I don't know why it wants to have its natural instinct of chewing through things I guess I'll just get rid of it. You need to give them toys so they chew on stuff they're allowed to chew on. So yeah what I was saying about them chewing <laughs> chewing um, uh, stuff they're not supposed to is behavioural issues. Bunnies like are going to make a mess. 
they're going to want to use their natural uh, urges and they should be, by law, they have to have ways to chew, dig and explore and roam and forage and you can't deprive them of this. That's the kind of thing, like, you need to be prepared for with a rabbit. They are not docile animals, like, contrary to what you see in commercials where they're usually baby rabbits, which is one reason why they're docile. And then they become adolescents after they're bought. So basically a lot of rabbits are born when they're little babbies and they're so cute and sweet and then the hormonal teenage bunny urges come along and they're generally really pissy, moody, aggressive little things during this time and people don't realise that they need to be spayed or neutered to generally be happier, healthier, uh, almost double their lifespan especially for female rabbits um, to be happy animals, but because people don't think they need to be spayed or neutered or they can't afford to spay or neuter their rabbits, uh, they're stuck with this incredibly grumpy, pissy, angry, aggressive, and not particularly friendly creature as a pet. And again, that's another reason they get abandoned so much. So like I was saying, um, a rabbits, especially female rabbits, need to be spared or neutered when they're about age. The majority of female rabbits will die before they reach five years old from uterine cancer if they are not spayed. Spaying will save their lives, basically. And on top of that, they become camera rabbits. They can be litter trained, so that's very good for cleaning. So that's another thing. People don't spare or neuter them, so generally they can't be litter trained, and therefore there's poo and pee everywhere because rabbits are massive pooping machines. And now I'm going to go into, uh, say, uh, baby rabbits. Like when you get rabbits at pet stores or at fairs or whatever, they're usually baby rabbits or adolescent rabbits. They're small and not their full size. So a lot of times you go into a pet store and you see these tiny cages and hutches, tiny toys that mostly a guinea pig would fit into, but it looks like a baby rabbit would fit into, but you don't know the rabbit's still a baby. They buy all this stuff for them and they grow to be way bigger than you expected. Uh, about double the size of when you most likely see them at pet stores. So a lot of people end up with this animal that's bigger than they can humanely give room for to exercise or, you know, afford larger uh, enclosures and toys and stuff for them. Yeah, another reason they get, get rid of. Bunnies can live up to 10 years or more. A lot of people think bunnies live like four to five years and that's often, usually the average, because they're not cared for properly. A well cared for rabbit should be living at least seven years. The main issue that stems from people getting bunnies for Easter is they don't do their research or they do it on a whim and treat them as disposable pets. I don't want to discourage anyone from getting a rabbit, especially because so many are in rescue shelters needing a forever home. Um, our girls are adopted. They were abandoned or left at a rescue shelter. And please at least spend a few months researching and checking and budgeting, knowing, making sure that you can prepare for um, keeping bunnies. Do your research, adopt, not shop. On the back to the terms of Easter, most adoption agencies do not let anyone adopt rabbits during the Easter time. They just do not allow adoptions and that's because they want to make sure that nobody is buying rabbits on a whim. They want to make sure that you've spent time researching and uh, not just buying them for seasonal means, shall we say. There are a lot of advantages to adopting rabbits instead of getting them from pet stores or breeders. And one of them is they're almost always spayed or neutered before um, you, they're allowed to be adopted. This is for their health and well-being. So that cost and hassle is completely gone from your responsibility. On top of that, they can slowly make sure and help you find the right rabbit for you because the fosters will have a, get to know the rabbit's personalities and their needs and then they can discuss with you your needs and wants with what you would like in a bunny and you know, you get that kind of uh, special um, slow approach to, to getting a pet and uh, much more careful and considerate for both you and the rabbit. You've gone past the awkward teenage phase of most of these rabbits, most of them are you know, at least one year old and fully grown, so you, you also know what size you're getting and what size of things you should be getting for them. On top of that, you're just helping a poor bunny have a second home, make them happy. A really rewarding experience. Like, um, these are our first adopted pets and pumpkin fitting. It's been so lovely slowly seeing them trust us and open up to us. It's really rewarding, honestly. It's such a lovely experience. So if you want a bunny for Easter, make yours chocolate. That is the, the phrase that's going around with rabbit welfare uh, teams lately. Make mine chocolate. It's a novelty, a, you can disposable, you eat it and it's done for the year until the next Easter and then you can get another one. Or a plushie if you want to hold and cuddle something soft and cuddly and pick it up and like this. 
get a plushy rabbit and it won't bite or struggle or get grumpy at you for doing so. I hope this has been an informative video for you guys. Um, rabbits are just a hugely misunderstood creature, especially as domestic rabbits go. Um, they're kind of just treated as kind of lower tier companions, you know. Um, just kind of, oh, they're, they're kind of dumb or, you know, uh, you can just hold them and they're fluffy and there's a really needs to change that general attitude from the general public to do with rabbits because, um, like I said, they're intelligent, emotional, loving creatures and regardless if they weren't, um, they should never be treated as disposable. Is that right, Bubs? Yeah, thank you very much for watching and um, yeah, again, don't get a bunny for Easter. Get a plushie or make your chocolates. And yeah, I'll see you soon for the next video. Pumpkin and video pumpkins over there. We say goodbye for now.